Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS FX series laptop. This one is an ASUS FX 553V model. And in this video, I'm gonna go over how you can upgrade the storage and how you can increase the performance humongously by just replacing the mechanical drive that comes in here with a solid state drive. And what are the combination that you can have in here and what are the best suitable combination that you could have. Just remember by replacing the main storage in here, you have to install your Windows freshly installed from the USB boot drive. I made a short video how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive or Windows 11. Check that link in the video description. I also made a video how to install the Windows on your ASUS laptop. Follow the instruction on any of my ASUS laptop Windows installation so you don't get that uh, Windows bloatware uh, garbage installed on your Windows as soon as you get to the desktop. Those links can be in the video description. In this video, I'm just gonna show you guys how to replace it and what are the combinations you can have. So first thing first, back up your files to external or to the cloud. Power off the laptop completely and grab yourself some screwdriver set. I'll grab the iFixit screwdriver set as they are my favorite screwdrivers to opening stuff. Pretty much I'm gonna grab a Philips number zero. If you don't get the Pro set, which I don't have, you can grab an opening tool. For the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. With these two on hand, you can get it started. First thing first, on the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws, but there's a hidden screw right under this rubber cover right in here. But you need a pointy thing to point right underneath the rubber and lift it up and remove that screw that is underneath. It is a pretty long screw. Keep it in one pile. Now we're gonna remove the rest of the screws and keep them in the same pile as the screw that we removed in the middle. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Just go ahead and remove all of them. Also, if you guys like my video, if you find my video helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, now that we remove all the screws, what do you wanna do? You wanna grab the opening tool. In this case, I'm gonna put it between the palm rest and the bottom cover here. I'm just gonna twist it up, and you're gonna hear some click sound. That's what you wanna hear. You don't need to stick the whole guitar pick in there, just stick a little bit of it, and go by the DVD drive. Once I got the DVD drive in here, what I like to do, I put my thumb on the DVD drive, my fingers right in here, and pop it up like that and bring it up, work it around, and it will release the bottom cover. All right, now down here, we're gonna see the main hard drive right in here. And right away that I can see, and there's an SSD slot right in here. This is not an NVMe, this is an M.2 SATA. So it will be at the same speed as a normal SATA right in here. To remove this one, we need to loosen up the four screws that hold the caddy that is holding the hard drive in place. So go ahead and remove these four screws. Also, you don't need to remove the battery or disconnect the battery to do this upgrade. It's absolutely not necessary. So remove these four screws and then slide this hard drive towards this back side, outside. And then you can lift it up. It's a Hitachi, I mean HGST, which is a Western Digital brand. They bought them up, one terabyte, 7,200 RPM, which is good, but it's still a bottleneck. So in this case, we're gonna grab an Intel it's SSD, which are really durable, but I recommend you guys to go with the Samsung Evo or Samsung Pro. Those are one of the best uh, drives out there. You can either put a solid state in here, or you can keep your one terabyte mechanical, or you, know, you can go ahead and grab a M.2 SSD. Let me see if I got one right here. Grab your M.2 SSD right here, up to one terabyte and bring it down in 45 degree inside the connector, push it in there, and then bring it down. And I'll leave the link for the M.2 screws. You can put a tiny screw in here to hold it in place. To let it go, to remove it, again, you wanna pull it back the same way that you put it in. So you can put a one terabyte SSD right in here, and you can format your one terabyte for extra storage uh, in here, or you can 
remove this one, upgrade it to a two terabyte SSD in here and one terabyte M.2 right in here. We have put a two terabyte in here, it does work also if you want to, but I mean, we tried a Kingston two terabyte, it didn't work, but we tried a Samsung two terabyte, it did work M.2 here. And two terabyte, doesn't matter what brand you have, 2.5 inch in here, it will work. In this case, we're just gonna put a SATA 2.5 inch in here. So we remove the mechanical drive, we need the caddy, so we're gonna remove the screws on the caddy. There's a two screws on each side. And you wanna pull it out, don't lose the orientation. And the screws on the other side. Once you remove the screws, make sure it's the same orientation, remove it. Now we're gonna put this one in here. Doesn't matter if there's enough space, you get an empty space in here because this is, it drives a little thick comparing to an SSD, that's fine. Now all you wanna do, make sure the screw holds match and put the screws right on the storage, on the SSD, or I will say on the caddy. Now that we have it in place, all you want to do, you want to put it down in here in an offset position. Right there, and then you just want to slide it towards the connector and put the four screws on the caddy to hold it in place. I want to say four screws too much, but what the hell, just put it. One screw at the back is enough to hold it in place. All right, once you put the storage in here, up to two terabyte if you want to, and two terabyte in here, put the screws on it, and you wanna bring the bottom cover over, push down, push down the back, you wanna hear those click sounds, and then you wanna just put the screws on the bottom cover. I'm just gonna fast forward this part, and I'm gonna put my USB boot drive in there, so we can get to the show you guys the start of the Windows installation. And if you wanna continue watching how to install it, follow the link in the video description to see how you can install the Windows on this laptop the proper way. So I'll put these ones right now, I'll come back and I'll put the rest of the screws or I'll just do a fast forwarding probably. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna always make sure you have the charger plugged in. So we're gonna try one of the ports on the left. I'll put my USB window boot drive in there and I will power on the laptop. And you can press F12 to, or you just don't pay. If you, the hard drives are empty, it's just gonna go start looking for a boot drive and it's gonna find my USB and it should start taking me to the Windows installation menu. So let's give it a few seconds. And there we go. Now it's actually looking for my USB and there we got the welcome to the installation of the Windows. Follow any of my Windows installation guide and you can install your Windows without having any bloatware installed on your Windows by the time you get to the desktop. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.